Now let's see how the ESCO Protect software system works. User login. In order to run directly the Protect software, user double clicks on the ESCO Protect icon. And once the Protect is launched, user can now log in by keying their username and password. Please take note that when operating the Protect for the first time, the user should create a login administrator. If this login is used for the configuration of Protec, user should not delete it later because all the remote alarms and planned tasks created by this login will be deleted as well. Before running the Protec software, please ensure that the license dongle is plugged into the PC. Otherwise, the software will give an alert that there is no valid license to operate the Protec software and all menu buttons will be disabled. Once the license dongle is plugged in, user can now access all menus available on the software. Afterwards, before connecting the Protec device, user must connect the Protec modem first. There are two different modems on the Protec uh, software system. First is the EMD1, wherein users can connect a PC and a modem to a network connection using Ethernet port. The second one is the MD1 wherein users can connect a modem directly to a PC via USB connection. On this particular video presentation, we are using MD1 modem. The next screen shows how users can add different Protect devices by selecting from the list of uh, different Protect devices on the Add a Device window. Click next and enter serial number of the device which can be found on the device label. Once the ESCO Protect device is selected, the user needs to define different parameters such as module name, um, operating environment, start mode, memory management, measurement period, alarm modes, high and low temperature alarm, high and low scale temperature, and alarm inhibition. After selecting device parameters, users should confirm all changes by selecting apply configuration icon. Select upload measurement icon in order to retrieve data gathered by ESCO Protect devices. Afterwards, to show last data measurement by Protect device connected on the system, user needs to click last measurement icon. The ESCO Protect software has two modes to manage and monitor the devices connected on the system, the map mode and the dashboard mode. The map mode lets you view the plans and monitor the units. The dashboard mode lets you create several pages to organize the monitored units depending on their location. To define the specific location of different Protect devices connected within the facility, the user needs to create a page to represent location where the Protect device is connected. In this menu, the MD1 is connected to the main office. while the Protec UN-1 is directly connected on the freezer unit at the storage room. We then move on to the use of uh, graphs. It's important that the curves are only displayed until the date and hour of the last data uploaded. However, you can still refresh by clicking on the upload measurement icon. 
this action should only be performed in case of a need because if it's performed too often, the battery lifetime will be reduced. The period can be displayed using different options such as by date, the last day, last week, last month, or last event. On the upper right corner of the screen, user can also choose different icons such as print, copy, save, and download an archive. By choosing print, for example, the Protect software will show overview of the graph as displayed on the screen before printing. The printing options will be directly configured with the printer. The copy icon is used to copy the graph with the legend. Then you can paste the image of them in any format such as Word, Excel, or OpenOffice. The save an archive is uh, used to save the graph as displayed as an archive. Save a specific event or share it with another user. Download an archive will open a save archive. To display the archive, select the right dates on the graph. Alarm management can be set up by selecting the alarm management icon on the left side of the screen. There are two ways to set up alarm system via alarm servers or remote alarms. Using alarm servers provides user an option to choose what type of external alarm that they wanted to use. It can be PC sound alarm, vocal telephone transmitter, SMS server via internet or modem, email server, and MMS server via modem. For this particular example, uh, we set up a PC sound alarm using a WAV file output. Of course, users can also choose a uh, speaker as an output for this uh, PC sound alarm. Once finished, always um, click validate. Another example is um, setting up an um, email um, alarm system. So the users uh, needs to specify um, or assign a alarm name SMTP server and SMTP port based on the company's uh, um, internet settings type of connections um, username or email address and password please make sure that all fields are completely filled up otherwise um, the system will not continue Again, always click Validate. User also can add an alarm system which is located remotely from monitored station or unit. User is given an option to select device type of remote alarm by adding on the name and select either a modem relay, alarm, RF, PC sound alarm, vocal telephone alarm, transmitter, SMS via internet or via modem, email or MMS via modem. User can select type of alarm to trigger, threshold alarm, technical alarm, metrological alarm, or activate all types of alarms on the selection fields. Users can also set target alarms by choosing either all monitored um, units or one monitored units or a batch. Also, users can select time delayed in minutes. And lastly, users can select a planned period of alarm before confirming the remote alarm settings. Click OK to confirm changes in values and validate. When an alarm occurs, the alarm light located on the top of the protect window becomes red and on the plan, the concerned monitor unit becomes red and blinks. To acknowledge the alarm, click on the validate button. Audit trail of a protect. 
The Audit Trail is the informer of Protec. It records all actions performed in Protec, such as modification of configuration, log in, log out, start of a client PC. Um, this can also be sorted depending on several criteria such as uh, sort date by user, by PC, or by event category. Preferences menu. User can define general settings and communication settings of the Protect software. Uh, on the general settings, users can define um, name of site or lab, erase last measurement if it is uh, older by a certain number of uh, minutes. In case of a uh, time lag between the recorder and computer, either choose update recorder, launch a technical alarm, or do nothing. Authorize time lag between a recorder and computer in minutes. Ask for password if mouse is not used during certain number of minutes. Keep the temporary files and trace files during certain number of days. Display the character degree in text of sent emails, yes or no. Make the monitor units in alarm status flashing if under of M U is under a 1000. Automatically configure relay tables of the RF modems and relays and display metrologic data of recorders for all users. Launch a technical alarm, no communication after how many uh, communication of failures. Uh, check RF uh, relays uh, function every after how many minutes. And at the same time, launch a technical alarm, no communication after how many communications failure. Um, and lastly, uh, check RF alarms function every after how many um, minutes and launch technical alarm no communication after certain number of uh, communication failures. Click validate to save all changes in datas.